yeah, right now I'm trying. I'm Ooh. trying to build my first album up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say too much now, but if you were to say too much, though, this would be the place to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see. trust us, man. Yeah, we're good guys. Ottawa's most nah, trusted journalist. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm stepping out of my bag though. My my usual bag, like that pain vibes and everything. It's gonna come out with a whole new different sound. It's gonna. Trust me, I'm, I'm gonna shock the world once I drop mm -hmm. it. And I mean the world, because I will be the biggest artist in the world one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We got an exciting episode that we're about to have right now. Bro, we got the quickest rising star in Ottawa in the building right now. West West Side native. Mm -hmm. West Fortnite side phenom. West Side legend. <laughs> the Fortnite, Fortnite montage. Phenom, yeah. God, man, we got two time in the house. It's good, yeah, man. But you guys have to call Mr. Two Time. Mr. Two Time. Do you? Do, how do you? What? What would you like us to call you? Twice. Uh, two? I would say twice. Twice. twice? People, Mr. Time. Yeah. Like, like, what's, my what's my guys don't you? even call me Two Time. I, I Two Time to me just too like it's just, too formal. Yes, yeah, this is my father. My like, father was Two Time. <laughs> 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 is there nah, a one yeah. time? Is there a one nah, time? Is there's, that a there's gonna be a three time soon as I have my first son. I guess three oh. time. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting into the music industry. Since you're an anime fan, mm -hmm. what do you think about a spinoff anime show mm -hmm. where there's an evil clone named One Time? Yeah, we're onto something right this now. This is what we were talking about <laughs> before. Is like he just out there doing bad shit, giving Two Time a bad name. So you guys are scheming on this beforehand. <laughs> yeah, before we we got a little high before this interview. I'm not going to lie. We, we, we were having some fun. We've been here since two. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, that's fine, I guess. Then. <laughs> Nah, nah, but yeah, yeah, it'd be pretty cool, I guess. I, I was going to say, just thanks for coming on the show. For yeah, for sure. I appreciate okay. you guys having me, to be honest. I hit you guys up. I know I hit you guys up. It was the day I... I when I had my first show at Cranium. Yeah, dude. And I seen you guys asking me questions. And I'm like, yo, these guys look so official. And it's I'm surprised you guys are at where you guys are at right now. Because you guys should be like... Yo, I appreciate that. Hear that, mom? Thank you. Hear that, mom? You hear that? See, most crazy. people, when they look at his face, they don't think yeah. professional. O official was like, <laughs> I'm blushing right no, now. I saw, I saw your face first. The hair. It's the hair. <laughs> and then, yo, I'm not going to lie. A couple pictures, long neck. I was thinking in the beginning. Like, Bro, you got a long neck. I don't know what's going on. But it's like, it's like a thing for you. You got you got your own thing, own vibe going on. So I'm like, yo, this we, could work. We actually had some real conversations about that. We're like, dude, I actually don't think you can cut yeah. your hair. Like, yeah, ever. if I cut my hair, like... Like the whole thing's kind of gone. Yeah, you know? the whole I lose vibe. friends, maybe my family, <laughs> definitely my job. Like I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. Don't worry. Same here, man. We're in the same boat. If I shave my head, uh, I know this, these guys are not gonna be my friends anymore. I know that for a fact. Uh, but yo, man, no, I really appreciate that. And like the same thing goes for you. We're really humbled to have you in the studio. You're like, we've been fans of yours. Mm -hmm. We've been like afraid to reach out because like he's not gonna want to come on. Yeah, nah, he looks no busy. <laughs> don't do that. No, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I make it. I make it look like I'm busy a lot of the time. My God, but it's studio mainly i just be in the studio most of the time that's what i do with most of my time anyways. so you're busy though you know what i mean like you're in the studio yeah 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 are I you working so. on an album yeah right now i'm trying i'm Ooh. trying to build my first album up you know what i'm saying i don't want to say too much now but if you were to say too much though this would be the place to do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see. trust us man yeah we're good guys Ottawa's most nah, trusted journalist. On, man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm i'm stepping out of my bag though my my usual bag like that pain vibes and everything it's gonna come out with a whole new different sound it's gonna Trust me, I'm, I'm gonna shock the world when, once I drop mm -hmm. it. And I mean the world, because I will be the biggest artist in the world one day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's talk about that, because how does that feel where you're about to put out your debut album and you already have this buzz around you? Mm. Like, you haven't even had a debut album out yet, mm. and you're already like two time, you're a name already. Like, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It feels nice for you to say that, bro, because honestly, I look at it and I I don't see myself having a buzz at all, to be honest. Because it's like, I com that's, that's one thing bad about me, too, because I compare myself to other people a lot of the times. You know what I'm saying? And I'm stuck in that loop to this day. I can't, I can't lie and say I, I overgrew it or overpassed it, but I compare myself a lot. So it just makes myself feel smaller. You know what I mean? Like uh, coming out of Ottawa, I have a small buzz, uh, uh, not, not, not the biggest in the world buzz. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You're acting good, humble, aren't you? You're no, acting, no, I, he's, I, fucking, I, he's fucking with <laughs> us right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, for real, no. Yeah, it's just, it's just, this is just the beginning for me. Like, I, honestly, like it's, it's nothing I, it's not surprising to me. Nothing surprising to me. Mm. Everything I, that's come, it's not surprising. I make, yeah, I'm joking, but no, it's true. Mm. Like after we talked, after your cranium set, like you're like, yo, this is my first show. 
and like yeah. you were you you know it was a very humble feeling about that you know you're very just happy to be there in that moment whether mm-hmm. it was two people there or 200 you didn't know nor did you care mm-hmm. i thought that was a beautiful thing to say yeah exactly man it was it was it was a very humbling moment bro it just my first show being in ottawa i didn't really see myself having my first show in ottawa because a lot of my music's not blowing up in ottawa it's blowing up other places and other around what, the what world. cities so are showing you where, right where's now? it blowing up uh, I would say the states. I, I can't. I can't give you exact exactly right, where, right. but the states. Mm-hmm. It's the UK, and then it's Canada. Huh? Which is crazy to me. And Toronto is before Ottawa. Really? You know what I mean? So like, is it like a landslide? And nah, not a land. Yeah, it is. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Do you know what's weird trying. though? Do you know what's weird though? Is like. I find like, you know, I feel like we have the conversation a lot, especially mm-hmm. like you and I, like Ottawa, we talk mm-hmm. a lot about Ottawa's like distinctive musical sound. Yeah. And I feel like you embody that to a certain degree. Maybe it's because I feel like the most eyes are perhaps turned towards you and maybe the West side even, because mm-hmm. I think you guys as a collective um, neighborhood make similar music to an extent. Yeah. Um, But I feel like it makes sense for Toronto because like I feel like that sound is sort of a great baby brother of that Toronto sound from a few years ago. Yeah, I could I could understand that too. Um, it depends what type of side you're talking about when you say Toronto, though. Mm-hmm. There's like two different sides really on Toronto because coming out of Toronto, we got Drake, Nav, facts, like who Tory Lanez. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole. It's like a. It's very. What's that word, man? I can't. Even, I'm, not, I'm not even thinking. Rich, there's a variety. Yeah, polished. there's a variety of different artists and different sounds. You know what I mean? But uh yeah i try i try to i try to put myself in my own bubble to to be honest like i don't see myself you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i don't try to shadow anybody else or or try to imitate anybody else because i just want to be myself you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so uh as yeah. you should mm-hmm. yeah as how you do you do that man. on a day-to-day basis hmm? how do you be yourself on a day-to-day basis shit i mean just just be me i don't know how to explain it like if i want to pick up this drink and drink it i'm gonna pick up the drink and drink it you know nice warm mug of red bull and vodka you know what i'm saying i had to get i had to get a little loose i'm a shy guy i'm a shy guy yeah i am a shy guy i had to i had to get a cheers to that cheers cheers shy guys i don't have a drink so fuck me i'm just chilling it's because you stole my fucking chair <laughs> and everyone knows it too everyone knows i'm not supposed to be that's the last time we're gonna say anything about it yeah that's when like, i first walked in these guys these guys were making a big fuss about where i should sit <laughs> i was confused honestly i was just gonna pick a chair and sit in it but they seemed like they were already having an issue was, with it so it was like you, you're right though there was something going on i'm not gonna lie it's been building up it's been, <laughs> don't tell me you're surprised four this years is- <laughs> sorry back to the interview back to the interview folks right? <laughs> um, we kind of alluded to it a bit, but when we talked to you backstage at Cranium Festival, you said it was crazy. Like you didn't even know you had this many fans. Like you said, like I blew up mm-hmm. over the pandemic, so to come out and see it like in person was kind of mm-hmm. crazy to me. Like what what was going through your mind in that moment? Like, exactly. Yeah, I did blow up during COVID, so it was very weird. Even to this day, like I go out and it's it's a lot more lenient now. There's not there's not mask uh, mask requirement around, or mm. it's not quarantine anymore. So I go out. And people are asking to take pictures with me, and and people are asking for for autographs even, which is wild to me. But <laughs> but honestly, it's like seeing like starting off and just seeing these numbers on your phone, and like, okay, I just the song just started a hundred k. Oh, my song just hit a million views. What 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 the hell is going on? But I'm not seeing anything change. Right. You know what I mean, I'm not seeing the love. I'm not seeing the fans because we're all in quarantine. We're stuck in the crib, so we got nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? So it just, it's just, yeah, it's a very surreal moment. It's very surreal. That's actually crazy. So you have like, mm-hmm. sorry, I don't want, but like you have two separate like emotions there. It's mm-hmm. like you have the feeling of seeing your phone blow up with like millions of streams, exactly, and then the yeah. feeling of people coming up to you on the street, mm-hmm. being like, "Yo, can I get a picture? Can I get your autograph?" Mm-hmm. Which feeling is better to you? Oh, good question. Tough question. That's a good. T- <laughs> good question. Good question. Nah, um, I would say the the, the numbers blowing up on my phone. I'll be honest, because it's like fuck them fans. <laughs> no, okay, no, 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 no. That's not what I was trying he to say. That. He no, said no, that. Okay, not see, him. Not it him. all ties in together, though. It all ties in together because like seeing the numbers on your phone, mm-hmm. and it's like, yo, these could all just be bots. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I don't yeah, know absolutely. if this is real or not. Mm-hmm. Then when you step out and it's no no more quarantine and you see the actual love and support, that's mm-hmm. where it ties in. That's where I was gonna say it ties in. Honestly, I don't think I can answer that question. No, I'm gonna take back what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm I can not, understand. Not. Like number guy, like if you're a numbers guy and you see that, but you don't see perhaps the results that you want. When yeah. you start stepping out, you're gonna get validated mm-hmm. for those those numbers, right? Yeah. So it's just it's gonna absolutely play yin and yang. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. 
how do you think it was i don't want to say it but like you know do you feel ever like it was an accident that you blew up no that's what i i said in the beginning too i nothing that's happening right now is a surprise to me it's mm-hmm. nothing's a surprise i go in like if I'm going to do this, I'm doing it all the way through, you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I have that type of mentality. I know a lot of people stumble upon this, like, like baby, for example, you know what I mean? Like I was just watching his documentary the other day. That's why he, he, he didn't know that was going to be his path. He didn't know rapping was going to be his path. But for me, the way I came in, it was like, I'm going to do this. And if I'm doing this, I'm going to be the best in the world at what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. really nothing, nothing is a surprise to me or it's shocking or so. You know I mean? Me? Yeah, go for it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, just going back to your Canadian Festival um, performance, it's crazy standing in the crowd there. You know, we both had people come up to us, two different people. But they went up to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't come up but to anyway, me. Anyways, <laughs> I, someone came up to me like, yo, he is so textbook good. You know what I mean? Like, you are just like. Mm-hmm. Define sta- textbook good. I, that's, I, I, but that's the thing is, I was going to mm-hmm. like, I, I want, I didn't really. In my mind, I think I know what it meant. But, like, when I say that, what does that make you feel like? Textbook that, that good. I was like, to say you were a textbook good artist slash performer. Almost, like, uh, animated, almost. Like, it's, like, uh, predetermined. Like, it's everything is, uh, how do I say this? So I can't, it's, like, I can't. an avatar. Mm. Ab- like, yeah. Built yeah. For you know you. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, when I was watching you. I don't know what that means, though. Yeah. It, I, like, I, I got what it meant because, like, mm-hmm. you were one man and uh and a hype man on stage right mm-hmm. but you had everyone's um like you had everyone's attention on you right mm-hmm. we had just watched uh like reggie on mm-hmm. stage and he had like he had a whole squad up there right yeah. but like you still brought that same energy you know mm-hmm. your songs were performed like uh, to a like crisp like mm-hmm. you know you wasn't like you were drowned out by your backing yeah. tracks or anything like that and your songs are fucking good you know, they're great, right? Thank you, man. And they're going to have everyone there. So I think, like, you know, you check all these boxes of being textbook good. Mm-hmm. But I want to know, like, when you're in the studio, which you said you've been a lot lately, mm-hmm. is it that sort of thing? Like, am I checking these boxes to make sure that I'm making calculated decisions on each song mm-hmm. um, so that I can translate these to performances and, yeah. you know, keep keep them um, kind of playing into my exactly. atmospheric yeah. rise? Mm-hmm. Or is it just like, you know, this is yeah. just you fucking doing it? Mm-hmm. Nah, I would say the first one. This in the studio, it's a whole different thing. It's 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 a calculated. I know exactly what I I gotta do. I know exactly how I have to do it. So I'm gonna lay it down exactly. No matter how much takes it take takes me, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep pushing at it, and we're gonna finish this product. And this on the stage, these niggas can vouch for me, bro. I was I'm not, like, I was nervous on like uh how to engage with the crowd or just be out there. So you saying I'm textbook good, that's that's a great thing, honestly. It's a great it's, Well, it's I, a very I was good, surprised when you said definitely this looks my like first you've done show. that before. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, when you're like, yeah. this is my first show, I was like, yes. you're fucking lying. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I had a hard time believing that too. No, but yeah. before though, I was a dancer though. I used to be a dancer before I used to mm-hmm. make music. I used to dance. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Dance battle, right? No, yeah, I used to, I used to dance. I used to dance. So my stage, I was used to being on a stage and being on a spotlight, but not for music. Yeah, but being just having that stage presence, and I guess that's natural. I guess just you can command. On, you command like attention. I guess. I guess so. Yeah, I just uh, that sounds very. <laughs> well, it's true. Like mm-hmm. I mean, you had the people there. Like mm-hmm. there were the people there watching you. And yeah weren't looking anywhere other than on the stage and yeah. stoked and that like kind of prepared though. you for that almost mm-hmm. yeah it felt natural just being yeah. on stage though i did yeah I did as soon as you get a little shots in you know <laughs> get a little loose get that liquid courage going you know of what i'm saying <laughs> take the edge <laughs> off i don't know you mean yeah, yeah. i had four shots before this <laughs> <laughs> you, um you touched on it earlier <laughs> <laughs> you said uh like this isn't a surprise to you and, like everything that like you've gone through it's mm. like it's all been for a reason mm. uh, let's talk about that because you, you blew up like very quickly and i, I want to know like what was your come up like um i mean growing up i guess uh it kind of sounds cliche now because everyone just uses the same type of like same type of uh come up story i guess mm-hmm. that doesn't really apply to them you know what i'm saying but it was really like i'm looking at it and i hate school i hate i hate i hate uh, i was in school actually i went to university for for one year i graduated from woodruff high school okay went to university for a year and when I, while I was there, I was like, yo, this is not what I want to do. I'm not doing this. I don't, I hate this. I don't like this. It's not my passion. And I was having trouble finding my passion. So I just looked for what makes me feel the best. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, whenever I got in the studio, that feeling, that 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 lump sum of time, that one hour right there, that I feel like the freest in the world, most freest in the world. I feel like I'm number one. I feel like I'm on top, and I feel like that's yeah. who I should be. You know what I mean? So I said, "Fuck school." I didn't tell my mom though. I hope my mom doesn't watch this. So she's, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I said, "Fuck school." I, I jumped out of school. I'm looking you, at my you mom. Didn't tell her. No, I didn't tell. I, I, I couldn't. How, how could I? Damn. <laughs> Think of it. A foreign mom coming all the way here after all her struggles. She had to, true, true, she had true. to come up, fight the war and everything. And then come into come into Canada for uh, to give us a better life. And I fuck around and make music. And you're you know about to I mean? be a rapper. Yeah, yeah. I want to be a rapper. <laughs> what, what type true. of that? That's 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 crazy. That, that would be like nonsense and craziness to her. You know what I mean? But so in your mind, you're like, if I'm doing this, I have um, to be yeah, fucking I'm, serious. Yeah. yeah. And I, honestly, I just got tired of being broke as well i'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie I, th- I got tired of my my mom like sh- she's very good at hiding pain and hiding her suffering and hiding whatever she's going through mm. but i see it like as i grew older as i matured i was able to see like yo th- this is because i w- growing up i would look at my shoes yo, i got the fresh new jays like I'm, I'm good i'm not broke <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah but then later on as i matured i'm looking at it bro we uh, like it was there was bills on bills there's there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit that comes with it. i don't want to go too too deep into it but yeah i just literally looked at my mom and it was i'm i'm i'm, I'm i want to show them a better life basically mm. you know what i mean i want i want to give them a better life well, when did you first have that feeling though cuz you said you walk in the booth and you feel like it's just zen for you did you start making music when during that first year stint at school or was it before that uh yeah when did you start making i tracks? started making music i think 29 2020 or maybe 2019 i'm that's not sure crazy, I can't. that's three years ago <laughs> <laughs> no but i guess <laughs> hey yo reggie can vouch for this too we always just had the rhythm we had like the style we had the swagger you know what i mean all it took for all it took was just get into the studio and put that swagger into good use you know what i mean mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and actually and actually make something out of this you know what i mean so yeah we went hopped in the studio i think it was I can't say I, I'd be lying if I said the first time I went to the studio. That's when I felt it. I knew it. That, right. Nah, that, it that's came not, to you. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it didn't. It didn't in the beginning. So it was like I think it was. Yeah, it was a lot of trial and error. I can't. I can't put it. I can't put it. I can't put it like a day on it or a time. Yeah. yeah but it just yeah. started to. F- Sorry, it's a cold like. winter's eve. <laughs> <laughs> September 17th. Yeah, I like how I like how we use our swagger in the studio in different ways here, you know what I mean? Like mm. you just it's it, you bring it in though, right? Like it's just kind mm. of like a kind of mood that you bring into a room. Mm. How long did it take you to kind of realize that, you know, that was your kind of was that is that your goal to be that sort of uh moderator of the room? Moderator of the room? No, I don't. I don't think being a moderator of the room is my goal. I, moderator may not. I be am the room, like, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you know, when you, you bring like, the table to the room, yeah. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. let's figure Sorry. out this chair argument once and for all. He says. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you know, you kind of come in, and you, I, I imagine now you're you're young, but there's a lot of you know, you've taken on a lot of responsibility. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like when you come into a room, like how do you balance that sort of responsibility and energy to kind of come out of that room with a productive or like something that worked towards your goal? Mm. Honestly, just block out everything. When I'm in the studio, in the studio, right? So I just block out everything. I give a fuck what this person says, give a fuck what this person says, mm-hmm. block out everything and focus on this one one thing at a time let's take one step at a time let's not i'm not gonna think about how i'm gonna honestly when i'm in the studio too it's mainly just me or it's just one other guy i i don't like to have a lot of people in the studio with me either you know what i mean it's just it's just not it's just not me i don't make music for i like for clubs and mm-hmm. for this for that i make music you can listen to all, maybe by yourself yeah, or, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you're sh- running errands in the car or whatever, <laughs> play, play, play my Going songs. Going through a you know breakup. I mean? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cry to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, the real, the real, the real life. I mean, yeah, I would say I, I make real life music. For other people, though, I'm not, I'm not knocking anybody else. Like, for other people, that, 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 what they're speaking about is real life to them, you know? But the real life mm-hmm. to me and the reality to me is, 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 is deeper than music. It's, it's like the pain and, and and what people won't say out loud you know what i mean and now that you're saying that it makes sense like i can hear that through your music now that i think about it that you're Absolutely. in there alone because yeah. i feel like for you because your music is very vulnerable and painful and it's like for you to get to that place i'm picturing it's just got to be you in there mm-hmm. for you to get there because if you yeah. have like you're all your guys in there it's like man yeah, like, i don't know i'm, I'm not gonna yeah. hit those levels of <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, ex- again like i i'm i'm uh i say i'm very lenient with uh 
everybody too you know so it's like whenever someone has an idea i'll just fuck around and try their idea mm -hmm. even though i know my idea is 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 is, 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 right. is the shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, i don't want to see, see that's the first thing, you know like sometimes yeah i gotta take pride in that i got better or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no but i'll do that so i just you know i just want to ignore all the distractions and mm -hmm. just get them out of there you know what i mean and and really talk about me and my, my come up and and what life is like for me that's so it. you now have like you know, I feel like your your crowd or like your your fans are a much younger demographic. Mm -hmm. Um, and like you said, your music is very uh reflective of your life, your come up, right? Yeah. And sometimes that can kind of look a little troubling, perhaps in your music, right? Mm -hmm. How do you kind of uh play the sort of role model side of things as well as still keeping your music true to yourself? Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm a role model yet. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I don't I don't think I've achieved that level of respect just yes yeah. i i like that answer like because like i was I, if you were like you know i just try to be so inspirational like yeah. we're 20 like you're 21 you know mm -hmm. what i mean you don't have to be a role model yet yeah no, no, no i just yeah I, I, you're yeah. supposed to have role models like, exactly still, like, i still have role models yeah. i still have people i look up to every single day and those are the niggas you see right there in the corner shout out shout shout out out are we good for a pan shot we got pan shot. Be up. shout out shout out shout out z over there in the back <laughs> beer's looking nice shout out <laughs> shout out the ceo of uh, uh, AIO, uh, a brand we made together. Shout out the guys, Shout man. Out. Looking good in those glasses today, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Um, you touched on Reggie a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, we talked to him a couple weeks ago. We just had him on the show. And we, we talked about you, actually, a little bit. We were saying um, that you this was before you guys had your show at Cranium. So we are just kind of talking about like you guys sharing a stage together. That's going to be like a moment for the city. And we're like, we just, mm -hmm. we were just hyping it up. Like a moment. Yeah, yeah. Now that it's after the fact, I want to follow up with this question for Reggie through you. <laughs> Did it feel like a moment? What was that like? It was a moment. I'm not going to lie. It, it was, it was, it was something, we got something we finally deserved. You know what I mean? It, it felt like we finally had that, that place. And, and honestly, the right, uh, the right type of environment to actually do what we did on that stage. It was just a very surreal, surreal feeling. It was, I just think back to like all the days where we used to come up and everything like that and everything we've been through coming up and us putting it, laying it down all on the stage. Pause. I said that very weird. <laughs> but, like, you know, no, no. We'll back it up. Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> no, we're, <laughs> no, no. We'll be right back. I was, like, <laughs> I was literally thinking right before you said that, I'm like, this is a great answer, too. Right? <laughs> this makes so much <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I had to, no, nah, bro. It just, you know what? It's that guy right there. The guy in the nice glasses. He's, he's the one. I never used to think like this before, but nowadays it's always pause this, pause that, pause this. Like, yo, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know what what's safe anymore. I don't know what to say anymore, you know? You're safe here, man. This is a safe space. <laughs> this is a no pause zone. Nah, but yeah, it was it was a very surreal moment. It was, um, finally we had, had that place to show up mm -hmm. and um, do our thing, you know what I mean? So uh, shout out Reggie. He did. He did. I know. I know. He went crazy. Shout went out crazy. Reggie. You know what I mean? He he, he went crazy he on the stage. Crazy, bro. Yeah, he did. He was going wild that night. That was an awesome. Mm -hmm. He had a shirt night. off at one point. <laughs> I was like, yo, Dude, he tripped over that thing, and I was like, oh my god, that might be it. Like, <laughs> that show might no, no, be he over. played it off. Dude, very he sat cool down. Though. I was like, wow, you nah, mean, he played this it off. A performer, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, he played it. Dude, I didn't even his realize. pants, his pants too. I was like, dude, they might fall down. <laughs> they might fall down. I was nervous at one point. His shoelaces were untied. I was like, this is, oh nah, my nah, nah. God. He's professionally a sagger, you know? He's a professional sagger. He knows, he knows what he's doing when he does yeah, that. That's, I, I left it up to him. Yeah. I was just... I mm -hmm. I would have yelled something, but I just, you know, I figured he knew what he was doing. <laughs> I think it was dope you said that you guys deserved it. Because you, you guys have mm -hmm. definitely been through a lot together. Because you've seen both you guys perform that night. There was a couple tracks where the whole room went quiet. And you just, you felt it. You felt the pain in the room. You felt like the togetherness through that. And I want to talk, because we talked to uh, Reggie, obviously, about Metro and what happened a couple years ago with him and his passing. But I kind of want to see, like, you guys all came up together still. And you're, from your perspective, you released Hood Cry. And that was kind of your... Um, Ode. Yeah, that was your Ode to Metro. They did the Metro World documentary, and you're kind of like, here's Hood Cry. And that's the song that also, like, elevated you. So what was, like, your mind space when you're making that song? I, uh, my mentality, uh, the way I write music, it's 
it's it's it's really about life remember what i was saying before about uh i feel I, I go like probably like two three months recording and one month not recording because that one month not recording my music reflects real life situations you know what i mean i really have to live life and enjoy it you know what i mean so i can't even lie i, I wish this wasn't i wish this wasn't the the actual thing but um whenever i have the most pain or i, or I feel I, f- I, f- I feel the worst whenever i feel the worst that's where i'm able to um bring light out of it i guess and then shine and shine above that you know what i mean so honestly that yeah that song was uh yeah 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 I, yeah you know what i mean i just i don't know i don't know how to keep going you're dude. writing in your diary almost mm-hmm. yeah it just ex- it's exactly like that your yeah. journal sorry not mm-hmm. your diary and i think that's why people relate to my music a lot because they know it's coming from a vulnerable vulnerable person it's coming from a very open-ended and it's i'm talking about every type of struggle you know what i mean like any anything it is some people people only talk behind closed doors about it type shit mm. you know what i mean so is it hard just the title sorry is it is it hard making music that vulnerable at like such a young age no or i think that's like yeah yeah it's, i think it is the easiest i'm not gonna lie it's the easiest because that like other people would deal with their pain with fucking drinking this or this, uh, with me happily. Thank God, I'm the left. I'm, I was able to find uh, a path for myself and making music, and that's how I deal with everything going on in life for me. You know what I mean? So therapy. Yeah, it's therapy. Exactly, that's the word. Yeah, I just yeah. Therapy, <laughs> the relatability too of it, like worldwide, and just like I was gonna say, like the title of it, like Hood Cry. It's like this like i'm crying out right now like mm-hmm. what everyone's fucking thinking right now mm-hmm. and then just putting it down into a song but yeah. that was a dope moment you guys had on stage together um mm-hmm. yeah just all Appreciate in all that it, cranium man. festival night day two was that was a moment for the city i think yeah, honestly absolutely. i don't think we're appreciating it just yet but that's gonna be one i think we look back to like linda sent on now. stage too yeah yo, linda sent killed it uh he did he did so what he, fucking sick, that dude. guy yo i'm not gonna lie that guy's like my mentor you know what i mean i yeah. I've, I've had countless studio sessions with him where like we're not even creating music together. He's just teaching me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's 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 kind of a mentor going through this music thing. Even with performing, I remember I brought him to my first rehearsal. Not first rehearsal. I think it was like the second rehearsal. Brought him. He came through. Bro, the guy lifted the energy in the room. Like he he has it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he's he's one of those guys who has it. You know what I mean? He has he has it he has it all basically. So he's just handing down. It's funny you say that because in the crowd that night, a lot of people were saying that about you. <laughs> a lot of thank people are like this guy's got it this guy's a star a lot nah, of people thank, said that nah, a lot i of appreciate people that man. i yeah no nah, i don't know how i don't ever know how to <laughs> fucking respond to you stop so. blushing man stop <laughs> blushing <laughs> you smiling yeah. like that you got you smiling like that <laughs> um how serious you taking this though like come on put it into like a like how can i like contextually see how serious you're taking this because you're playing a very humble kind of like taking a very humble stance here mm-hmm. but like you know you're saying i got this driven mind what's that actually look like for you know someone who's looking at you i got i got a lot of things a lot of big huge things that i'm i won't feel comfortable speaking about just yet okay but, but you're gonna so see what it. are they <laughs> <laughs> i like the way you think I like, I like the way you think i like it i like it, I like it. <laughs> no but there's a bit a lot of big upcoming things coming for me and you're gonna see very, very, very soon. I uh, like sooner than soon. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it'll, it'll, quickly. It'll be, yeah, it'll, 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 it'll <laughs> two be. times as fast. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but it's, it's um, yeah. Uh, fuck. You know, I just. What was the question again? Yeah, 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 that's such a ambiguous answer. That's such a politician <laughs> ass answer. Like, we have big things coming soon. Like, oh, what the, like, what the fuck does that mean? Two well, times. I think, I think everyone's initial goal is I gotta buy my family or my mom a house mm-hmm. that's the first goal mm-hmm. and that's where you can kind of from there it's like hey now what do i want mm-hmm. but no, no you said definitely. you want to be the best to ever do it though mm-hmm. exactly what's that look like for you the best to ever do it is mm-hmm. it looks like the best to ever do it you know but <laughs> like, i haven't like, seen it yet bro you, <laughs> that's the level he's hitting man it hasn't even been seen yeah, yet. yeah I, if i if i if i were to put it into words i'd be lying to you you know what i mean okay. I, I can't i can't really put that into words but the best to ever do it like yeah like ever i'm talking about Ever, ever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, I know I have a long, long road ahead of me. I know I know I have to I have to start getting into a certain mindset and mentality where I need to be the best. Where I, I'm hungry. I have the hunger right now. I, I'm really hungry mm. right now. And I, I'm not satisfied at all. And I'm not happy where I am right now. You know what I mean? Do so, you... Uh, 
Do you ever worry about that, being a kid from Ottawa? Like, this is the city that doesn't want its city to make it. Honestly, I think it's... I look at it as a plus. There we honest. go. It adds like okay. a, it adds some sort of like a star factor if, if you want to say. Mm. You know what I mean? It adds like, oh, this kid, it's hard. You get him mainstream, man. Where is he from? He's from Canada. Where is he from? In Toronto, probably. No, no, he's from Ottawa. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I want, I want, I want to put Ottawa on the map the same way Drake did for Toronto. You know what I mean? So, have you ever seen that uh, like Knight Lavelle's No Jumper interview from like way back in the day? Uh, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not really a big no? uh, interview mm-hmm. watcher. So, like, he, he, like, said the very much same thing, like, mm-hmm. to Adam22 in that interview. Like, I'm from Ottawa. Like, made it very known that he was from Ottawa and was trying to put Ottawa on the map. And you just posted recently a photo of you in the studio with Belly. Mm. Um, and I don't know. I've heard, like, I've heard from some people that perhaps Belly isn't the one to say that he's from Ottawa. And, in fact, will kind of say that, his career started when he went to XO in Toronto and is a Toronto artist. I'm from Nova Scotia. I thought Belly was from Toronto. I had no idea he was from Ottawa until like mm. months here. ago, yeah. like eight months ago. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess I do want to ask, like, you know, was that something in your mind when you were collabing with him or like what, what was that sort of process like? Uh, no, because I'm from Ottawa. I right. knew Belly was from Ottawa. You know I guess I mean? so. I, yeah. I don't really, I don't really play into any of that, you know, mm-hmm. like, Belly Belly's a very, very genuine, cool guy. You know what I mean? I would love, like, man, he's one of my favorite artists. Yeah, one of the biggest heads in Ottawa, you know what I mean? So, Mm -hmm. it's, it was, yeah, it was, it was a crazy, it was a crazy moment for me to actually get into the studio with him and just, you know what I mean? Just, just be around the guy, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's obviously a legend, a legendary name coming out of Ottawa. So, it was, yeah, it was just amazing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's dope to see that now, because I've heard that too, that like, he wasn't one to necessarily like put Ottawa like he had the chance to put Ottawa on the map but he didn't really do it some people would say mm-hmm. um but in like recent months like he's reached out obviously like you were in the studio with him city fidelity is in the studio with mm-hmm. him we had maurice moore come on the show last week who's written for a-listers like chris brown her and he's like i've been away from the city for a bit but like i kind of want to come back and like touch the city again mm-hmm. does it feel like Pause. does it feel like <laughs> 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 see, I thought that was a cool one, but he's like, what? that's what I see. It's people like you. It's people like you that gets me it's people like us, us man. man. It's people like us. <laughs> right. But it kind of feels like now with the rise of, you know, all these artists in the city, like we just obviously you and we just talked about like Linda Sun and Reggie mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, it feels like now people are, because I feel like in Ottawa, we've known that we've had great talent here, but now it feels like everyone's starting to see it and see it's like, it. hey, let's maybe reconnect with the city again. It's kind of dope mm-hmm. to see. Like, how do you view Ottawa in terms of like a collaborative space? Do you feel it's very collaborative or? Uh, collaborative as in like uh, artist? Ar- yeah, artist yeah. to artist collaboration. Artist to artist, yeah. I, I, like from my point of view all i all i can talk about is my point of view because i don't i don't really True. i don't really know anybody else like that you know yeah. what i mean so i call it from my point of view what i've had i i i i, I fuck with who i know is doing it and i know who has it type shit if, if you're if you're making music and i know you don't have it and you're just doing it just for a certain type of certain type of level and you don't want you don't see yourself excelling from that level or anything then i, I me personally I, I can't fuck with you you know what i mean i might why would you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why? Why would I? Type shit. It's, it's, I have I have a very tight tight circle too. It's like uh, I'm only I only surround myself around people who wanna do it, regardless of what it is. I don't care if you you wanna go to school and uh and, and get get this type of job or if it's this or if it's fucking woodworking. You can go ahead and go woodwork all you want. You gotta have a good carpenter. <laughs> exactly. You gotta have a good world carpenter. needs always always needs. Carpenters, you know what I'm <laughs> so it's uh, so it's uh. Yeah, I surround myself with those type of people. That's that's the type of artist I want to surround myself as well. You know, surround myself with as well. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Yeah. Are you are you spending much time in the city? Or are you uh, kind of globe trotting? Yeah, right now, bro. I'm happy to say I'm able to keep going that like, back and forth to the states, Canada. Um, because honestly, right now, like Ottawa, obviously we know it's not a big music city. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be on. If we're gonna look at it on a big scale. If we're gonna look at it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean it's it's not a it's not a big music music scene so i have to branch out i have to go to the states and do that and fucking conquer there and let them know ottawa niggas doing it and conquering this you yes, know what sir. i'm saying so it's uh yeah I'm, I'm 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 in the states a lot i'm i'm doing my things i'm doing my thing out there i have, I have a lot of a lot of things planned for the future for the you near said, future when we were trying to set this up 
Mm-hmm. You were you said, yeah, I'm going to the States for a couple months. Mm-hmm. How do you pack for that trip? <laughs> <sighs> you can ask that guy, bro. Like, yo, I'm the worst You have a packer. packing guy? No, no, you no, 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 okay, no, 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 that's not, no, definitely don't. Nah, but yo, I'm the worst packer. I'm the type of guy in the airport that has plastic bags in the airport. You know what I, mean? I carry plastic bags in the airport. It's a tough, it's like... It's I'm not no, I'm, I'm two time in the airport with some giant tiger yellows. <laughs> <laughs> man, I no, thought the I music just... shit was working out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like too. That's the funny part. These <laughs> Alexander McQueen's clean though, ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I was thinking though, you don't even pack. You just go and you buy shit there. That's I okay, so I pack like probably I'd say I'd pack for a couple months trip. Mm. I would say I'd pack for a week and a half. Yeah, that's like, what I was like, thinking. And then you just, but in a really big bag. No, not a really big bag. <laughs> like, you'd be surprised, bro. I'm telling you, I, I don't pack a lot. And I don't really think about it because I just get, is what he said. I, I just get stuff out there. I yeah. just think about, yeah. Honestly, they have a bigger selection out there too. So, fuck it. I'm just going to go shop over there. It's, I'm a big fashion guy too. You're going to be there like, during Black Friday? Dude, that's oh, some deals. Is that is that big in the states? Oh, it's like, huge. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. Huge. way bigger than Canada. Way bigger than Canada. Yeah, Someone I say, need a new TV. Could you bring me back one? Actually, actually, I'll eat transfer. Don't worry, don't worry, fam. I got you that eighty inch. I'm pretty sure. Pause. You see, I know, I know what you're thinking. Pause. I'm say, alright, bro. What? No, I, I see you. Know, no, you know, you know, know. That was a pause. I got you. Let the record know. I said, I said, I'll bring you back an eighty inch. I don't think. This, this is sounds <laughs> sounds a little bad. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on. Uh, I want to know because I'm kind of confused about this whole situation. What is like? What's this Fortnite thing? Like, what, what happened yeah, there? Were people just making like mo- kill montages. Exactly. To- uh, I think it was uh, <laughs> one YouTuber. It was. Uh, it was the track me. was "Keep It Real," right? Yeah, that "Keep It Real." Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, f- I, I know his name, but I just, I might be saying it wrong. I think it's Mitro or okay. M- M- Mitro. 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 Say Mitro. all the t- ways you think it is. And Mitro, then- <laughs> Mitro. But it's, the O is a zero though. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe it's a Mitch zero? Yeah, or is okay. it like okay. a, okay. it, could, it, could, it, could oh, okay, it could be taken, interpreted in a That guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that guy, he posted me one time and it was like, I'm pretty sure the song was at like already 300,000 and then it like, like I think we hit 100k in a week and then the next week hit 200k in a week and the week after that just kept going and kept jumping I'm like I'm looking at it I think the last time I was at 300k and then I look back at it and I seen 500 or 600 in the matter of like a week or two Mm. I'm like what the hell is going on here so I did my little research (laughs) and then I found out that (laughs) Micho guy you know what I'm saying I found out it and then there's all these little kids using it as well for Fortnite and uh, using using it for their montage clips and everything. Sick. Mm-hmm. So what a was, niche, oh, so what like a after niche he, demographic to like get mm-hmm. huge in. Yeah, yeah bro. The, the cover art for that song was the funniest. He actually made it. Let's pop it up right here. I really pop, I'm <laughs> yeah, it. I, it in here. You there made that? <laughs> Fan. You made that Hilarious. sick as fuck. That was sick. <laughs> said it. Yo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That, that, okay, that, that, that's sorry. What were you going to say? No, no. I was not. I was just mad. He gave me the noob. Uh, the new fucking costume. <laughs> actually, you know what I mean? Well, he didn't put you in no John Wayne gown. He didn't put you in the suit. He could put me in the suit or something. He put me in the noob. Like, that's what you get when you get the game. Like, put some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that's a lie. We're not, we're not, we're I made not. myself a girl and you made me change it. <laughs> <laughs> girl from oh. the neck down. But that's what I wanted to ask, though, was... Uh, was it just kind of a whole random thing, like all these Fortnite streamers are just using your track, or was it like once it started, it was like, okay, let's a bit, let's use this a bit of a strategy. You leaned you know into I mean? it, yeah, yeah. I leaned into it. I leaned into it because honestly, I, I didn't think it was gonna blow up on Fortnite. I just yeah. thought it was like just another re- regular song I make. You know what I mean? So it, as soon as it blew up on Fortnite, I'm like, yeah, let's. He actually had the idea again. Yeah, I have to, I have to give Z shout out, shout out Big Z, man. He actually told me, yo, it's blowing up on Fortnite. It's fucking, let's fucking let's keep running with it let's keep going let's keep doing it if it's working it's working you know what i mean but i'm not that type of artist same time if it's working it's working i, I yeah i, I take mm. pride in my don't want to sell out yeah exactly so how'd you yeah, balance yeah. that um came back with an apex legends track <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I, I think I just no, I just I can't even can't even can't even say how I did it. To be honest, I just did whatever felt comfortable to me and whatever whatever I feel like worked. Okay, you know I want to ask you. I want to ask you about like a show that I saw you do, and you yeah. did it at a high school in yeah. Regina. Uh, that, Edmonton. It was Edmonton. in Edmonton. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was makes, in Edmonton. Oh, that's a bit better. I don't mm. know why it's a bit better. Mm. It's a bit better. <laughs> but like, man, I want to know about like just getting booked for a high school show. Like, I think that shows like just like how fucking like yo, you have a high school in Edmonton that's like yo, we'll book any artist you want. Be like yo, fly two time in from Ottawa, bro. <laughs> like, how does that feel? No, that was because I've been at those shows too, and like mm. they're tough they're, high school shows. Because like at, at my high school, we'd have shows and the crowd was always tough. Yeah, okay. on my had shows in your high school. What type of artists would pull up? Or, or I had a heavy like, metal band come in one time. <laughs> yeah, I was band. fucked, dude. We were okay. like all in grade seven, getting our faces melted <laughs> off. <laughs> I, like this band called Fire! Vicious. <laughs> literally, their name was Vicious, <laughs> and vicious. they were like literally like head banging. Like <laughs> neck you got the hair for it though. You got the hair, dude. And I, I'm sitting there in the front row, like just we're all sitting there, we're just like wow, like this is crazy. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> at 11 30 in the morning literally dude, <laughs> this is one way to kick off spring fling this is nuts dude. but nah. seriously like tell me about that experience you know flying out to edmonton to do a school show honestly yeah i it was it was crazy i'm not gonna lie like I, like they booked my flight and everything too so i'm like oh shit you know what i'm saying like i'm actually an artist i have to remember i have to, <laughs> I have to remember first i'm an actually an artist and people are booking flights for me and making sure i get there safe i should shout out faza because she's the one who held it down and booked that show for me That's so dope. that flight was booked and I, I i went straight there by the way no shots by the way so i had to go Sober, sober Sally, you know. It's kind of tough when you do it like that, you know. It's kind of yeah, exactly. You I can get understand loose it a little bit or whatever, you know. I know, but, I get it, dude. Mm, I get it. No, but in the fucking stage, bro. We're gonna talk about the stage because this stage was like a full basketball court. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> and it's like people on both sides. So it's yo, imagine it's like the U two three sixty tour. It, you know I mean? I'm not even in shape either, so I'm trying to run around to one side, get one side, get this side. I bro, I was. At of breath at the end bro it, fucking it, hard to like request the green room of the like elementary or the high school to have like a bottle of hennessy in the <laughs> you know I mean? i'll nah. take a bunch of snack packs and some juice boxes <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good point though of like having to go back and forth because i would be thinking that the whole time like fuck this side seen my ass for like the last like two minutes i gotta yeah. switch around now and like this side's gotta see it for the yeah. next like two minutes and like i don't know that'll throw me off bro so I was just, just steady doing laps. Just on one hand, uh, like <laughs> you're in shape. Then I was not in shape. I'll tell you that much. Well, for I had you, to, not for me, man. <laughs> it was cotton mouth and everything. I was like done. Like, I couldn't even sing at one point. I'm, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> top me out. I'm topped out. But it's a great yeah. time. Does like, this <laughs> yeah, was... last song from this position here? <laughs> <laughs> I actually was like that at one point. And it, it looked emotional, but it was really just because I was tired. I was it was really, I was just fucking out of breath. Oh, man. But you're welcome, Edmonton. He left it all out there. Yes, man. Shout out Queenie, man. That's his school. Queenie High School. I remember. Queenie. Mm-hmm. Dope. Shout out. Um, speaking of high school. I was amazed. I'm going to like keep this. I'm going to keep referring to this Cranium Festival night because it was just that legendary to me. But mm. I was amazed to see the amount of like genuine, true fans of yours that like are high school kids that are coming up to the show, like getting meet and greet tickets like to that, come see yeah, you. That, that was fucked was up, wild. right? That was like, no, what, that was the wild moment. What does me. that feel like? like what is meet that? Meet and greet. I'm like, especially in my own city. You know what I mean? If it's people like. If I went and if I went and did the show somewhere else, like Edmonton, I would, ah, uh, in a weird way, I would understand it better. But in Ottawa, people are getting meet and greet tickets with me, and and just and they were shy. A lot of them were shy. Like it was yeah, just dude, like they were a like- picture and out. I'm like, yo, I would have done that for free. What do you? Why'd you pay a ticket? Like, yo, come, come here, come talk to me. I'll say what's up, da da da. So it was. Yeah, that was that was the craziest. That was the craziest for me. People, the meet and greet. That was because I felt that. Oh, and the media part too. When you guys pulled up and the I, I, bro, I don't know. Nobody told me there's <laughs> interviews going on after the show, like a post game interview or some shit. I'm yo, like, what is happening? Yeah, some right guy now? even told us he's like three questions. I was like, okay, no, no, yeah, yeah no, no, I, yeah, I, no, I want to show as much love as I can, especially to the city, my own city. I have to, yeah, all times. Um, you know. It, this this term gets thrown around a little bit, but like, 
like young star child star like we were talking about like justin bieber like this guy yeah. at like mm. 21 you know what i mean just doing fucking numbers do you think you know? music has changed since then like it's like no it's a lot th- like the main the music sh- that yes. was like consumers no people will always go fucking crazy for a famous artist mm. guarantee it yeah for sure we looked it up justin bieber's mm. only like 29 or something 28 mm. you know what i mean but i was yeah. keith 26 he's been around for 10 years making solid fucking music yeah. how are you gonna make your legacy stand up against those guys i guess we're just gonna have to wait and yeah. see mm. yeah, that's, that's, that's all it is i can't i can't you don't ever think about like yo like you, you said, you like to compare yourself. Are you looking at like those? Sort I don't of like to compare. I oh, hate it, but, but I do. But you do it. Yeah, it's like he's not even fucking listening. It <laughs> <laughs> was like forty minutes ago. I don't know. Come on, man. <laughs> no, because we had like this interesting thought earlier. We're like, man, because you're in a position right now where you're so young and you can really take this game by the neck right mm-hmm. now, and it's just like. There's artists that have blown up at a young age, like Bieber's one of them, Chief Keef's another one of them. Mm. I mean, I don't know, like One Direction, they were super young. And you look at these guys now, and it's like, Chief Keef's only 27. And like, yeah, Justin Chief Bieber's Keef, yeah. only 28. And it's like, mm. it feels like they've been around forever. So it's like, do mm. you like ever think about that? Like, I, I, do, I do. I'm 21, and if I like can get this done like quick, sooner rather than later, mm. 10 years from now when I'm 30, people are gonna be like, this guy's still around, that's crazy. It just kind of mm. like... I don't know. Yeah, but I do have that mentality, yeah. The thing is about those artists is like they kind of sort of rebrand almost, mm-hmm. you know, in phases. Yeah. And I know that you said we were going to get that album, you know, mm-hmm. coming soon. What's it going to be called? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I like what you I say like it's it. gonna be called again. <laughs> See, you you would have caught me slipping on a bad day. You would have you caught me. You would have caught me. But, but uh, no, but you know, we're gonna. See, you said that you're gonna see sort of a new side to you, right? Mm. How are you gonna kind of keep experimenting as you grow older? I mean, like, uh, it is tough as you get older to to keep going with the wave and what's popping right now. Because yo, I was coming on the angle when I said uh, you think music's the same. I was coming on the angle because when we were kids, I I remember it was like all the R and B people blowing. Like that was like the main stage. Like the guys with R and B. I feel like rap nowadays is like a mixture of pop and rap at the same time. You know what it's I'm trying to say? A melting pot. Yeah. So it's different now. Like rappers are the main stage. You know what I'm saying? Like Lil Baby. Uh, shout out Lil Baby again. You know mm-hmm. that's like, so he he's the main stage now. You know what I mean? People like him back then. I wouldn't see, or it would be looked over to me. It was like Justin Bieber, it was uh, like Chris Brown, pop stars. It was yeah, like the pop stars. You know what I mean? So, uh, but I think there was more of like an algorithm for that at that point. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. they had built their kind of base as like mm-hmm. they had built become like sort of a pillar of mm-hmm. like the industry that they were in, mm-hmm. so that afterwards Justin Bieber could like literally just yodel and people be like this is the best yeah it is yeah, it's the shit. Her. yeah and he's yeah, not yeah. even from like this mountains in Sw- switzerland right like yeah, he has yeah. no business yodeling but he has such a strong group of core fans yeah core like, fans yes yeah. fucking that's yeah. very important too the core you know fans I mean? having a core fans and having an army of fans let's say for example i would say the cardi cardi fans or the yb fans young boy Mm-hmm. Them niggas will kill. Would you say you said you said who's better? Yo, why be better yeah, already yeah. in the comments? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's crazy. Like the core fans, that's very important. And that's, stand fans. Yeah, exactly. You know, like <laughs> having that having that army. You you want to have an army once when you get into the game. You know what I mean? Do you feel like you have that yet? No, not yet. I, 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 I always answer my those questions like, very <laughs> weird because I honestly just don't know the answer to them. You know yeah, what I mean? Like sure. I honestly just don't know the answer. So I'm. I guess like if I said anything else, I would be lying, you know. So, but I don't think I, I wouldn't be able to say it. I don't know. I was we're gonna, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting there. there. As we're getting there, mm-hmm. my God, that's exactly that's exactly. What as it is, we're man. getting there, though, like, mm-hmm. is there anything that's worrying you about this next phase you're about to get into? Um, I mean, the only thing I I I like to say it doesn't stress me out, but like branching off into the states, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If I'm gonna keep it a hundred, you know what I mean? It's uh. That's a big step. It's a it's a different type of step, especially coming from Ottawa. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Branching off to the states, that's a whole new type of ball game out there. So, getting myself into the ether and getting myself into that, you know what I mean? Getting myself into the game like that, it's that's the only thing that I would say stresses me out. I know I'm gonna do it, but it just stresses me out in the meantime. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I can hear you because yeah. like 
we kind of deal with the same thing, just obviously not like to different like scale, but it's the exact same thing. We're actually. <laughs> same scale, same everything. As, as we level up, there's definitely like concerns we have as we level up. It's like, yo, like how are we going to attack this? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's it's overwhelming in the beginning. Like, yeah. It does it does get overwhelming a little bit. Do you like the business side of it? The business side of it? I hate business shit. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm, I'm not, that's a very ignorant answer at the same time. But like, uh, it's I just like music. I hate whatever comes with it. Everything that comes with music, like people you never met before, have this this issue with you. People you never you never seen before have this issue with you. It's yeah. it's it's tough. But I just love music. That's what I love. That's that's my goal, and that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna stick to it. and I'm gonna keep doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean, no fuck yeah. So man. we got Z four. Hmm? Z4. That's what we got him for. That's what we got him for. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wait, I, I didn't even take him what he said. It was Z4? <laughs> That's what we got him for. Like, you oh, know, handling okay. the business I thought you said Z4. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, no. No, but don't get it twisted. I, 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 I do, I do, for, not force myself, but like, I don't like that I have to, like, all this weird, like, um, the back end shit, like the shit that, behind the scenes stuff that happen comes with artists and yeah. comes with being an artist like me you know it's there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff me personally i don't like doing it but it's just like ask anybody who's going to school right now do they like doing it no but the discipline you have it's a certain level of discipline you know what i mean you have to you have to be disciplined and you have to you have to do these things you know what i mean i'm not gonna be ignorant and say yo fuck this i'm just gonna focus on music no, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do both. Yeah. I'm not gonna like I'm, I'm doing both. I just want to focus on music, but I'll, I'll do the other side too. You know what I mean? I'll smile the whole time. Smile through it. <laughs> exactly. Smile through the pain. You know smile what I'm saying? The whole you're picking thing. your pains mm-hmm. that you're cool to deal with. You know exactly. And then yeah. I'll make a fucking song about it after. Big, and big, <laughs> big. <laughs> then it'll go off for numbers, man. <laughs> big bang. Big bang. That's real life. As we get towards the end here, I gotta ask um, twice. Is also a record? Yeah. Like, is that also like a record label? Twice, yeah, twice records. Twice it's not, records. Okay. Not not official record label, but okay. it's uh, it's another it's it's another thing I'm putting together. Um, I have also AIO coming. That's uh, that's me and the guys. We've we've been we've been working. You know what I'm saying? What's that but, stand for? Uh, so it's all in order right now. You know what I'm saying? All in order. Okay. But what's oh, it stand for? It's all in order. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all together. Just tell me what it stands for. <laughs> it means it means we 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 we're always all in order. We always got everything together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's no there's no loose screws. There's no missing pieces. Everything's always in order. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? You guys are confusing me over there. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Owner, you got it all in order. But what is it gonna do? It's gonna get you in order. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Right? He's, he's asking the he's asking the nitty gritty questions. Yeah, the tough I ones. Mean, I like someone's guys, someone's good interview, like bad interview. You know, mm, like good, good cop, bad, 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 good cop, bad cop. Right now, I should lean on this side. Nah, nah, nah. Not My man. <laughs> nah, but yeah, no, yeah, that's all in order. That's the guys. That's the guys. Uh, other otherwise known as Aired Out the Gang. You feel me? That's the CEO right there, Mister Cartier, man. You know what I'm saying? Air it out. Shut out. All in yeah. order. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um Twice Records though, like is that like a movement to stay independent? Twice Records? yeah, it's it's bro, I just think it's important as an artist to build your own brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what's what I'm doing right now. I'm uh, it's uh, a lot of it's still under the uh still still under 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 experiencing some technical difficulties, you know. So it's um nothing's official just yet, but uh it will be in the near future. Uh, are we allowed to shout out the hats? Is that? Is that oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah okay. Bring those, let me, bring let me those. see one of these. So you just he gave us a couple gifts today. To the yeah, just him though. Just nah, me. Nah, nah, so nah. Fuck him. this guy. Yeah, no, no. Where's the other one though? Is the other one not here? No, it's in the other room. It's in the other. No, I saw it. No, 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 man. I promise you, no one. Say no more. Say no more. Friends, but um, but yeah, as we wrap things up, can you explain what this is? Uh, so this is me and Big Z's. Uh. The first time I actually been on a real, real stage was with him. He brought me out for Boost Fest. So uh, we thought it was going to be a great idea to fucking make some hats and make some merch. They made Sean's doll. I would say the meaning of that is the bad guys. You know what I'm saying? The evil guys, the dark side, you know, okay. whatever whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah, it's it's, a, it's it's more like a label that we, or a brand, or clothing brand. We still, again, everything's under 
Under, under, we're under, under it all in order. Yeah, we're it's getting it all in order. <laughs> AIO. Everything's AIO right now. It's getting AIO. That's what's happening. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Um, do you have a AIO in, as a shortcut in your phone to all in order? Do you just type it AIO? How about that? Crazy. So what's it? I'll do you one better. What up? Oh shit! So much fucking. Look at this right here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yep. That's the home this, screen. This that's home all right. Screen. Okay, okay. We think of this logo though. We just, we just. Oh, that's hard. That's just hard. Put it together Don't show right that. Now. No, oh, yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Just but yeah, we just. Green tackle. We just <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like that though. Who designed that? Uh, one of one of one of the guys he hit up. Vince, Vince from, from Toronto. Toronto. Shout, Shout out Vince. Vince. Shout out Vince. Toronto. Shout out Vince, man. I, mean, I got a cousin together. Vince from Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> so he's wearing a hat. You're not wearing a hat. You see, I, I, I already don't. Like, he wasn't wearing a hat. Is this Let me know what it is, bro. Like, this is bull. <laughs> 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 um, any, any, any fi- I, I'm good. I don't know about you. Do you have any final questions? No, not that really. <laughs> I, just, I don't want this to yeah, end. I don't really, I'm having sucks. a good time. Like I, I'm, yeah, like, I'm, I'm having a good time. I was though. about this to be like, "What's natural. your favorite sandwich?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just trying to keep it going. Like, no, for real, though, I have to say, appreciate you guys having me because this is like the first. Again, I'm crossing a lot of firsts off my checklist nowadays. This is like the first actual like interview slash podcast I've ever had. Like this really? is the longest interview. Yeah, it's an honor, bro. Bro, it's, it, bro. This it's, has been a blast. I had to though. You guys, you guys, man, you guys from the city. So I was like, yo, I have to show these guys love, man. And you guys are doing your thing. Like I you guys are on you guys you guys just keep doing what you're doing and you're gonna you're gonna end up We'll see you, you up there. Just don't we'll forget us, there. man. <laughs> just don't forget us. <laughs> that is not. Yo, <laughs> that never that, bro. Never that. No, but I appreciate it, though, man. I I, I thought I was going to come here nervous because I hate interviews. I don't yeah. really. But you guys made me feel comfortable, I guess. We're cozy. <laughs> it's cozy in here. It's cozy in here. <laughs> no, I appreciate man. that, man. Seriously, that's a huge compliment. Um, do you have any final thoughts you want to let the people know? Um, any just teasers, keep, anything? Just keep an eye out for me, man. Uh, there's a lot of great, great, huge things happening, not only for me, but it's going to be for the city as well in the near future. So just keep an eye out. That's all I can say for mm, now. Bet. I'm just trying to think back now. Did we forget any questions that we had on our mental list that we just didn't write down because we were too cool for I cue cards? Down. Okay. Because we're too down. cool let for cue. Mm. Let me see. We were thinking this, about it. How dude? long we're was this already? This, is, this, is, this felt like, like over quick. 45. Time flies when you're having a good time. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Two times the fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we hit everything. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah we Dude, hit that's everything. pretty good for yeah, us. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is our cue, I guess. <laughs> We're getting clapped off stage here. Um, <laughs> two time, aka twice. Dude, thanks so much for coming in the studio. Great yeah, to have you in here. It's been a pleasure, bro. Thank you guys having me, man. Have a good yeah. time in the States during your trip there. Hope everything goes well. Mm-hmm. Thank you, man. And appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, man. Seriously. Appreciate mm. you coming on the show. Yeah, I'll I hope you guys. TV when you come back. <laughs> inch. I got you with the 80 inch, man. Don't worry. Pause. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, man. It's been a pleasure. No, for sure, man. Thank you for guys for having me, man. You guys just keep doing your thing. You guys are killing it right now huge already huge in my eyes huge and if it's huge in my eyes i have to be stubborn like this if it's huge in my eyes it's huge in the world you know what i'm trying to say my man you guys are gonna make keep it going out. man you guys keep going i will man. run through this so. fucking wall for you man i will run through this okay. fucking wall for you dude oh, God, it's okay it's okay oh, we'll shit. cut that <laughs> <laughs> i feel like a bunch of parents at the door like not quite ready to leave yet but yeah. uh, let's let's wrap this up here thanks for tuning in everyone mm-hmm. Again, like, follow, subscribe. We're supposed to say that at the start, but we always forget. But do it now. Like, and follow, and subscribe, nigga. What are you doing, bro? Go we'll scroll said. down. I'm watching you. I know you didn't do it yet. Go we'll subscribe. And like. Thank you. And follow, and follow, and follow. And follow. And follow. <laughs> Don't fucking forget, man. <laughs> Peace. Peace, everybody. <laughs>